Kitchen. I'm Christy. And I'm Jeremy. And we're here to show you how to make some great Tex-Mex meals that are really easy to whip, whip up during a busy school week. Um, we're going to be showing you how to make stuffed peppers and chicken taquitos. Let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by making the stuff that you put in the actual... Um, the filling for the taquitos. You got it. Great. All right. So we're going to start off with the chicken first. And we need a quarter cup of salsa. Would you mind I got putting it, that yeah. in there? Awesome. How much of this do you think is a quarter cup? Yeah, probably like that. Yeah. Perfect. That's precise. Oh, Here I'm we sorry. go. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, cool. that's good. And then what you're going to do is put in a about half of a um, cream cheese container. It's a 16 ounce thing of cream cheese. So I guess that would make it eight ounces. Here we go. Yep. Doing the math here, Dharma said, awesome. Um, and then you're going to add some um, chopped cilantro and... And some green onions. There you go. Yep, there okay. we go. Do you want to get your squeeze on? All right, here we go. Give those Been a shot. Been practicing this all my life. All right. Excellent. Not really. <laughs> oh, if you have any open wounds, don't do this. That is Cut my for finger sure. earlier, and that's painful. And the limes are really great because cool. they add an extra flavor and they're mm -hmm. going to be super delicious in this. And then my favorite next, after you're done with the limes, we're going to add some really More cheese. great Mexican cheese. I mean, hey, what dish is not complete without some awesome cheese? Awesome. And give oh, this a stir. All these ingredients you got it. mixed up in here. That oh, color is awesome. It's like a Mexican flag. <laughs> you could sure make this in a college kitchen. All right, so the last and final ingredient that we're going to add is the delicious cumin. The all-important ground cumin. And this looks so good. I feel like you could just put some chips in here and just, just eat, eat it, it right there. So if you're that lazy and you don't want to, you know, <laughs> give it a roll, you can just eat it out of the bowl. Great. So how, much, how much cumin do you think? Just a few uh, yeah, dashes? Just a, yeah. All right, just whatever's good. Come on up. All right, that's probably Perfect. good. Yeah. All right. And if you want to add some salt in here, you can. If you want to pep up the flavor, it's pretty flavorful as it is. Yeah, though, just so. about a teaspoon. Brings it all out. All right, and now we're gonna go into our tortilla portion. And you can like warm these up before you to make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. If they're cold, they kind of stick together and it's not, not good. You're gonna have like nine burritos in one. But um, so let's get, let's get our Yeah, one let's one. do this. And what we're gonna do is just put like- A dollop. Like <laughs> that looks about even, great. Awesome, all right, and then you're just going to Roll like this. Okay. Tight, nice and tight. Nice and tight. There we go. Perfect. Yes. And put it seam side down into the bowl right here. Awesome. So, perfect. And the last All right. Ones. Wow. This is an art form. I feel like Seriously. I could work in the dining hall You're too now. Talented. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. All right. So we have four taquitos ready uh, to go in the oven, and while that's baking, we're gonna make some stuffed peppers. So good. yeah, great. It's just as easy to, as the taquitos. We're just gonna mix some stuff in a bowl and uh, put them in these uh, hollowed out peppers. Um, so first, let's put in some ground beef, uh, if you don't mind doing that. So this is ground beef with some onions in it, and all you do is uh, saute it in a frying pan, the beef and the onions together, which we had done earlier, because it's TV. Um, so we put that in a bowl, and then we go for just a little bit of cooked rice. This looks like about half a cup, maybe a little more of cooked rice. And can you do like a vegetarian option with this too, or like put different kinds yeah, of, of course, why not? Um, meat in if you want? Sure, yeah. I mean, you could substitute for most types of meat, I'd say. Um, and as far as vegetarian goes, um, just a hearty vegetable, maybe some mushrooms or eggplant or something um, that, you know, would give it some substance when it's stuffed in the pepper. Um, so definitely, it's, there's an option for everybody. Um, so after the rice, we're going to put in some tomato sauce, uh, if you want to mind. Just most of the can, maybe like two three thirds, okay. three quarters, almost the same thing. Great. Uh, and then after that, before we mix, we're going to put in just a dash of Worcestershire sauce. Um, gives it a little bit of that spicy kick. Gotta love that Here we go, kick. just a dash or two. Perfect. And then you mix. Simple as that. The beautiful thing about this dish is that it's really up to you and your flavor palette. So you could, uh, if you want to, put in some cheese. You could put in maybe some onion powder or some garlic powder or something like that. Um, really just whatever you like. Uh, I would say don't overspice it because that's not good for any dish. Um, but 
um, yeah, you can really put in whatever you desire. So here we go. We have some uh, pre-hollowed out peppers. Um, you got to make sure when you do this to get all the seeds out of it, which we have. Um, so yeah, we're just going to spoon the mixture into here. And what we'll do is instead of closing it, we see we have these little hollow bits in the tops. So we're just going to stuff them in both. And so we'll have like four stuff peppers instead of two. It's like a little hat. <laughs> yes. It's a fancy pepper. It's a fancy hat. All right, like this? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. All right, you want to give Cool, yeah, I'll dip. I'll get the other one. Whew. There. We'll switch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. And uh, as you see, we have we're going to have leftovers here. Um, so the good part about that is you can put this into a burrito or any other tortilla-based dish. And um, it's good for any occasion. And so I'm going to bake this one um, not topped so that I can put a little more in here. So I'll just bake this separately so that. And you could even can, like sprinkle it with yeah. cheese, I feel like. That would be awesome. Yeah, sprinkle it with cheese. It'll melt in the oven. It'll be delicious. Um, yeah, we can put, eat it with some guacamole, some sour cream. I'm going to top this with the rest of the tomato sauce so it'll look all pretty when it comes out all baked. And then we're going to bake it in the oven at 425 degrees for about an hour. It looks so Christmassy nope. with the red and green. Perfect <laughs> for a holiday treat. Coming up next, we're going to show you all the great things that we made today, the chicken taquitos and the stuffed peppers coming up. Welcome back. We're here with our dishes that we made, the chicken taquitos and the stuffed peppers, and we're going to give them a try. Here we go. You want to pass me a fork? Yes. I'll cut these. That, that might be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't let me stop you. I, I never do. <laughs> I'm so, mm, it's perfect. It's like, excuse me. <laughs> it's, it's so much. I trust it's, it's good, yeah. <laughs> and delicious, and there's so much flavor in here. I'm going to have to go into bite number two to check, right? All right, while you do that, bite number one of stuffed pepper. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's full of flavor. That's, um, that's a nice, hearty, like, just got home from a day of work, bringing home the bacon meal. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's, like, so much going on in this dish. Like, mm -hmm. the, you know, freshness of the pepper. I'm not mm. really yummy rice. Mm. And this is great. This is, just like you said, really creamy. Really, a little bit of a kick. I really like that. Mm, we did good. Big fan. What up? So right now you're going to head over to Anna's Taqueria, uh, and I'll stay here and do the dishes. You are too kind. Yeah. And after that, we're going to check up with Green Eats and Man Food.